He's directing a uh, student down right now. Okay. I mean, right turn, right turn, right turn. We're going to swing around here and take a look at the student. I mean, right and you should be ahead of here, Paul, in the background. Let it up. You can see on those turns now. Let it up. Let it up. Okay, the student's doing fine. It's a little breezy out here today. Not that breezy that you can't put students out though, obviously. We wouldn't put them out if we didn't think they could handle the wind. Right now I'm going to have to cut it because we're going over to the sun and I can't uh, shine into the sun with this lens, so I'm going to shut down broadcast here and go back to pool in a second. Concentration while doing this. It's a very frustrating job. It's probably about the most frustrating part of the whole program teaching students to skydive because the responsibility of the latter part of the jump lays on the uh, radio man's shoulders and he has to have a pretty good eye and very, very good judgment as far as bringing the student in to the proper landing area. Okay, Dave, I got you. I think basically, no. Basically, what I think is the landing is going to go. Let it up. They're going out to check on the student right now. He was up there a little earlier. I don't think it's any real big problem. Okay, hard left. Maybe a sprained ankle. You got to keep your feet together. It's the one cardinal rule here. But you don't look down. You keep your feet together. Left again. Let it up. How do you think they did, uh, Paul? This guy did real good. The uh, guy <laughs> twisted his ankle, obviously, as you were saying. 